guys, welcome to the sixth part of the advanced inventory tutorial. In this one we're going to be fixing a few issues that we had with the inventory and equip menu in the last uh, part of this. Um, for some reason, when we clicked on an item from the actual inventory itself and tried to send it over, and then if we tried sending over a duplicate item, which I tried off screen, um, it would overwrite the other one. So I had to fix that issue. And for some reason, when I was clicking, it would return a blank object. And so I also got that fixed as well. We're also going to be adding a short little, um, not mechanic, but way that we can apply stats depending on, um, depending on what stats the item has. So we'll just jump right into our code and start figuring this stuff out. So I already pre-coded all this for this tutorial again, um, just because it's a little more confusing and it took me some time to figure it out. But in here, um, the first thing I added is if equip menu zero does not equal null. This means if the uh, equip menu has something in it, we're going to want to transfer that item from that slot back into our main inventory. So if this slot is blank, and does not have an item in it, we do not want to send a blank item to our main inventory. So that's something that we can put in there just in case the inventory is blank currently. So if I sent an, an item from the equipment back to my inventory and there's no item there, I won't be able to click it and send anything back um, that we wouldn't want. And then um, what I did here is I made equipment the zero slot to null just so we don't run into any issues when we're trying to add other items. And then equipment 0x, that's just for adding an item. And then I added in here power plus equals equip menu 0.power. So for the equipped item we want to um, apply that power to it. And so I added a simple little stat in here for power. We're going to be creating the stats for each one of these but I thought we'd just start off with one for testing for now. And so what we're going to be doing is when we equip this item, we want to add that item's power to our power. Now I was originally going to do it through here, but I ran, in, ran into some issues with uh, applying some of the stats and some of the code was not working with that. So I just, we'll just get rid of that completely and just do all everything through here. So if you want to add more stats to this, um, you could duplicate this and just change power to a different stat. So if you're adding stamina, you'd want to create another variable up here for stamina and whatnot. And that's a simple way to add stats. And then I added a little debug so we can check that out. And then we'll go down here. We also added, um, I think that was there from last time but I did add that same piece of code, this one down here, but I changed this to Y. Because depending on which item it is, um, or which inventory slot, is where we want to um, add or pretty much remove items when we click on it and re-add it to our main inventory. And then we also, for the power, we want to subtract that from what our power currently is. So for this one, when we're equipping an item, it'll add the power, and when we're removing it, it will remove the power that we added. And then equipment menu Y equals null. So pretty much after we, if we click an item in the equipment menu, we want to make sure that that equipment slot is null so we can't add anything to it. That's why we have this stuff here and everything. So we're not able to add or remove blank items from the uh, from either from the equipment menu, yeah. And then up here in my start function, I'm going to want to have equipment menu zero equals null. Now, if you're actually creating a um, like a full-on game with saves and whatnot, you're not just like temporary, one-time use only like inventory. Um, you're going to want to probably save off the actual um, array itself for the equipment. So sometimes it won't be null, sometimes it'll have an item actually stored in there. So it's it really depends on that. 
we'll be covering that in the future, how to actually save our inventory and um, both our inventory and our equip menu. So if we load in, um, everything will be saved so, so we won't get any issues with that. But for now, I'm just going to make that slot null because there's going to be no items in it when we start off the game. But yeah, in the future, if you want to save items to each inventory, we'll, I'll teach you how to load that up. But for now, um, we have our debugs, we have everything set up. And we'll start this up real quick. And you can see right now, one of our slots is missing. That's because it's nulled out and we don't want anything there. I was getting a bunch of issues when I was um, adding a helm and it would switch, it would send the blank uh, icon to this menu or the blank item. So now when we add it, we can click each one. And now shoulders doesn't have a second item or it wouldn't work. You'd have to set this up for each item, but I'm just showing you right now how it goes. So we can equip all that and it seems to function pretty great. And if we go into our council, I'll just clear this real quick. And every time we either add or remove, oh, we must have a issue with that. That is another issue that we're going to have to fix in the future for the power. Um, for some reason, if you switch off each one, it won't remove uh, the power from it. So I guess a simple fix would be just going into the actual slot itself and removing. So let's see here. Instead of equipment menu Y, we'll probably have to set it up for each one, I'm guessing. For now, um, we'll check and see if zero works, because we're going to have to set it up for each different slot, if that's the case and for some reason still adds. Okay, I will figure that out in the future, how to fix that. Hopefully in the next tutorial I'll have it figured out. Uh, last time, it didn't take me too long to figure out, probably an hour to get it all working again, but yep, stay tuned for future tutorials on how to create a more advanced inventory.